Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. Welcome back actually to Happy Wax TV and welcome to 2018. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, make sure you subscribe. And if you do subscribe, uh, hit that little bell icon. I know everybody says the same fucking thing, but hit that little bell icon because I don't post videos um, on set dates. I just kind of throw them out whenever I get around to them. So if you want to know what I'm posting, hit the bell icon and then you'll get a notification and then you can see me ramble on for five to 10 minutes like an idiot. <sighs> Anyways, okay, so um, welcome back. Um, hope you like the new studio. Uh, finally got it finished. I'm gonna keep the old studio as well. Um, I'm just gonna kind of spruce it up a little bit. I've got so much collectible crap that uh, I wanna kind of constantly change my backgrounds. Um, you know, little things. I just, I have so much stuff. So that's why I created the second studio. Um, so I'm gonna kind of, you know, go back and forth between videos with them. Um, and there's a couple new shows that I want to do this year. 2018 is going to be big for Happy Wax TV. First off, I want to concentrate a lot on, I mean, I'm still going to keep doing the trailer reviews, but I'm going to concentrate a lot on movie news. Um, there's a shit ton of horror and sci-fi movies coming out this year, and I want to give my fucking opinion on them and let you know what I think. I get, I seem to get really good, well, I get good responses from you guys all the time anyways, um, but I seem to get a lot of response, a lot of trolls, because I'm very opinionated, but I love it. <laughs> I get a lot from, you know, when I did the uh, the, the uh, movie news on uh, like Day of the Dead, um, Predators, stuff of that nature. You know what I mean? When I did, uh, um, what was that other fucking movie that was horrible? Jeepers Creepers 3. You know what I mean? I get good responses from you guys, especially when I don't really say what you want to hear and I just give my own opinion. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to do a lot of videos like that this year. And then thirdly, um, I'm gonna, I was actually talking to my old friend that I've known for 40 plus years, grew up with him, and you will know, know us um, if you followed us from the very beginning when we had our original YouTube channel, the Doomgorium Horror Emporium, and uh, we are gonna reunite. So we are gonna do movie reviews again, right here, and uh, we're gonna change it up a little bit though. I wanna call these sessions uh, group therapy, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down we're gonna talk about movies that we've seen, whether we like them, whether we hate them, but then we're gonna give our opinions um, on how we could, or how they should have been improved, or just our thoughts on how they could be improved. So, just to kind of get it out there, because you ever know when you go see a, a movie, let me give you an example, say Star Wars, okay? Return of the, uh, the Last Jedi, okay? Like, how many of you left that theater with so much fucking, not anger, you know what I mean, but just, you know what I mean? So, and that's, that's what we want to do. <laughs> so, poor Carlo, when he left, you know what I mean? I could tell he was angry and I thought, you know what? This would be great if we could come here, sit down, and then he could just rage or, you know, go on about, you know, what he hated about it or, or just any movie in general. So I thought, you know what? We'll call this group therapy. That way we can get our anger out when we go see horrible fucking movies and we can just rant about them and uh, give our opinions on them. So... <laughs> And the, the one last thing too, one other thing I want to do too, is um, I want to do some live streaming on here. I'm going to wait till my subscribers get back up to where they were before my old channel got taken down. But I want to do some live streaming. That way I can talk to you guys, um, you know, and you guys can ask me questions, you know, in real time. So I think that'd be pretty cool too. So we're going to try it. You know, I mean, I got to kind of investigate it and work out all the kinks and bugs first before I do it. But uh, look for that later on this year. So. Lots of stuff, lots of good stuff coming this year, so it's going to be an exciting year for Happy Wax TV. But make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the stuff that's going to happen. So, Okay, with that out of the way, let's get on to the uh, movie we're talking about today, which is The Slender Man. Um, I got this trailer sent to me a couple days ago. Um, I haven't watched it yet. I was going to watch it when I got it, and then I thought, no, I'll do a review on it. This is what I'm going to come back with. So, um, Now, a couple things. The Slender Man has only been around for... I mean, less than 10 years. Um, basically, he was uh, created by Victor Serge um, for some Photoshop um, contest that he won. And I guess the uh, images, I haven't researched this a ton. I just did a little snippet on, on kind of the history of the Slender Man just to get kind of some perspective on him because I don't really know a lot about him. 
I've never really taken to the character. I mean, he's cool looking, but I think he's, a, in my eyes anyways, he's a, a Jack uh, Skellington ripoff, if you ask me. So, um, which is probably where Victor got the, uh, you know, the inspiration from. But anyways, you know, he won this contest. Those uh, photos go on online and then you get, you know, the masses thinking that it's real and all this sort of stuff. And then right up until about three or four years ago, I mean, the Slender Man was everywhere. I mean, he was the creepypasta. So, you know what I mean? But uh, he's kind of died off in the last couple of years, which is why I'm kind of surprised they're making a movie about him. But, uh, you know, I guess, I guess there's still a lot of people talking about him. Um, now, the movie comes out in May. Um, We'll get to uh, who's in it and all that sort of stuff after, but I do want to talk quickly about... Actually, no, you know what? We'll talk about it after. I've been dying to watch this trailer, so you know what? Let me shut my mouth here and we'll talk about the... Uh, well, let's watch the trailer first, and then we'll talk about it after. Where is my daughter? People don't just disappear. Okay, well there you have it. A um, couple things. Uh, the trailer, I don't want to start off negatively, but the uh, trailer didn't do a whole lot for me. Uh, first of all, it was way too long. Um, it was like two minutes and 40 seconds. Um, those of you who, who watch me and uh, know what I expect out of a trailer, um, yeah, you can't have a trailer that's two minutes and 40 seconds long. That's way too fucking long. They could have condensed this by easily a minute. And, uh, you know, put a lot well I don't know they could have kept the the scares in it but yeah I don't know two minutes and 40 seconds man I don't know who edited that video but uh, I don't know man they could have cut at least a minute off of that um the uh, now the director uh, Sylvan White um, he has some uh, fairly good movies behind his belt so that's that's gonna help this movie um, stomp the yard which I've never seen um, but I know it did quite well and it's pretty popular uh, movie as far as dance and stuff that goes um and then he also did a movie called the losers that i think came out in 2009 i think but i love that movie i thought the losers was was great if you haven't seen it um check it out. i'm pretty sure it's got jeffrey dean morgan in it who plays uh on the walking dead there um but the other guy that really caught my when i was going through who was in this movie and uh, was uh javier botet now this guy, you may not be familiar with his name, but you'll be familiar with his uh, characters that he's played. Most recently, he was in uh, the movie It as the hobo. You know, that uh, the leprosy kind of hobo that was out front there of the, uh, the uh, Pennywise's house, which I thought was great. 
Um, he played Set in the uh, Mummy, um, the, the latest one, which was really cool. But the one that really caught my eye was The Conjuring 2. He played the Crooked Man. Now that guy was creepy as fuck. So this guy's a pretty good, uh, you know, a character actor. And uh, I think the Slender Man's going to look pretty cool, especially with this guy playing him. So I do have hopes. I do have hopes. Um, again, didn't really care for the trailer um, just because it was too long. I'm not hating on it. Um, there were some good scenes in it. I think this movie's going to be geared more towards um, like teenagers and stuff, just judging by it. But um, but I'm really I am um, really kind of curious as to what they're going to give as his background. So I guess we'll have to stay tuned and, and find out. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this one. Uh, Slender Man comes out in May. Got lots of stuff coming for uh, the upcoming 2018 season, guys. So anyways, let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay scared.